Hey, how goes the battle? K1 GMM with an update to the RX side of the coin, the ICOM 7300. I had a good friend of mine, M6 ENS Dave, tip me off to this. Hold on for a second. The um, noise reduction system. Uh, major, major update here and upgrade. This is phenomenal. So what I didn't like about the previous thing I was running was that the artifacting was pretty severe at times. It did work, but it affected the audio in a negative way, and I, I really didn't like that. So I was talking to Dave M6ENS yesterday and he said he found a very good denoiser noise reduction plugin. What you're looking at right here, it's called the Bitsonic Sound Recovery. So this by itself was okay, but it still allowed quite a bit of noise to come through on the audio, even though when people weren't talking, it was very very quiet so it acted kind of like a squelch sort of uh, so it wasn't smooth and the noise reduction wasn't quite adequate on the audio itself so what I did was I brought this in to the plug-in chain and I eliminated the gate over here on the left hand side can see this this is so I took the the reefer gate out and I'm just running the reefer noise reduction after the bitsonic sound recovery and it's complete 100% non destructive well, I should say 90% non destructive on the audio and it's very 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 good easily beating I think it actually beats any of the SDRs at this point uh, without this system running on the SDRs, but natively, uh, I think it actually beats like the the sun. Well, it definitely beats the sun natively, and I think it beats the the Anon, the Apache natively. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to repost, re-update the CWP file on the website, and I will post a link for the Bitsonic Sound Recovery plugin. Download this plugin, install it to program files, Cakewalk VST plugins. Program files, Cakewalk VST plugins. If you're on a 64 bit system, if you're on 32 bit, it would be program files, x86, uh, Cakewalk VST plugins. I'm assuming. I'm not on a 32 bit system, but um, there you go. Once that's installed, you should be able to take this .cwp file and it should open up and it should be all pre-configured for you just as you see it right here and then you can make the adjustments so additionally what I did was so I'm well I'm not going to address that right now uh, the only thing I will say is I'm doing this I'm using one additional sound card and I'm using the USB audio codec so I'm, I'm using two cards Behringer UM2 as a middleman to pass the audio uh, via the USB audio codec and that comes out analog uh, out of the output out of the back and into the Mackie card which is the DAW card here. I didn't want to use so I'm no longer using the um, uh, um, headphone output of the radio. Never liked really doing that in the first place. So this is done pseudo virtually. Uh, so you can go in if you want to do it this way, which I would recommend. It takes the volume. What it does is it enables you to use the speaker if you have to on the radio. So all you have to do is turn up the volume knob. The volume knob no longer works, uh, but the RF gain does. So you set your RF gain, bring that way back, and uh, it should work pretty good for you. So right click, go to the bottom right hand corner, right click on the speaker icon, go to recording and find your, here it is, USB audio codec. 
right click properties listen click this to listen listen to this device on that middleman card which is my Behringer UM2 okay and what that does is it'll send audio to that card virtually through the USB cable on the back of the radio and that should work for any radio that uses a USB audio codec okay and then you take a physical hard line out of the back of that card and into the input two of the card running on your DAW and bada boom bada bing there you go alright so I'll do a quick demonstration here and we'll close it down and I'll make the edits to the website thanks for watching can go back out and spend money and get the you know start getting the business back I think people people are starting to get upset now they're starting to move it takes a year or two years for these people to move and you know what I like what the truck drivers are doing in Canada they're finally going and if you get I'm gonna bypass I'm gonna bypass the rack so you can see what it's doing I'm gonna just toggle it back and forth so pay attention you'll hear it when I bypass it here we go the tunnels bridges or nothing how do you like that one go ahead Tony should do that that way uh is that way the uh you know they, they may, may do something at that point who, who knows well they got to do something these truckers they they uh you know when you hear the guys go on here on the containers that come from china they were charging uh, uh, i don't know a year ago they were charging two thousand dollars and now they're charging fifteen thousand dollars hey it's it's time that we bring back the uh, uh production and everything back in the states you you make it in pennsylvania new jersey new york and you say you know what we don't have to wait a month for the stuff to come in we don't have to pay all the taxes and bring all your costs they can bring the cost down okay off except these, these guys going on to the business people they're the ones that you know they got to make 50 cents store in the item because it's overseas you know and now they're the ones who start to cry why don't we make it here you know that way we don't have to wait they're the ones off. who cause us trouble okay and if they stop all this baloney, uh, maybe, you know, on. We can get things done. Okay. Go ahead, Frank. This is K3VI. Uh, WT1B. Yeah, I've been, I was just sitting here thinking about uh, what's going on recently. Uh, this is, um, she's really good. Uh, like, I don't know if she's a senator or from the House in New York State. She's that blonde gal. Um, I think she's Polish. She might be Polish. Uh, Polish. Off. Not ending in escape. I can't remember her name. Anyway, she's bringing this forward, and of course, you know, this is the, the type of thing you don't hear on, on the liberal news. Uh, absolutely not. These secret flights of all these people coming in across the border, the government is saying there is no secret flights. There's no, Off. I mean, we're not doing this. Off and now. They have now uh, taken video of these planes. On. Landing in all over the place, Pennsylvania, New York, you name it, and dispersing these uh, these uh, these people coming across the border, and these people don't even know where they're going. This is all planned by the government. These kind of call them contractors. Okay, we'll catch you all later. I uh, just wanted to update what's going on here. Seven three.